Thank you. Give it up for your host. Yes, the host. All right. What's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah, having a good night. We're all here on this boat. Uh, you guys might be wondering what's going on with the shorts. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was really curious about that. I got a lot of shit for it from, uh, from my fellow comedians because apparently there's a rule. You're not supposed to wear shorts on stage. You know what I say to rules? Fuck them. I'm a rule breaker, baby. So you guys, like I'm on a high stage, you might get a little lucky, lucky peek there. Vera. Very good. Who knows, you might get lucky. I'm not wearing underwear. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I'm a, I'm a comedian and I'm an actor. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm finally starting to do uh, paid acting uh, work now, which is great. Um, after years of just telling people, I'm an actor. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And you're, you're how old? I'm 31. Oh, I'm rooting for you. Um, I actually recently did a McDonald's commercial. Um, and, uh, which is great, you know, it was in the role of guy who eats burger. <laughs> Might I add, I fucking nailed that. <laughs> I really, I got the script, and it said, guy eats burger. And I was like, alright, so, okay, my character, he, he likes burgers. Obviously, he's a meat eater, right? Maybe he grew up, kind of suppressed, like his parents wanted him to be vegetarian or even <laughs> vegan. Um, and he's like, I'm going to college. I can eat meat now. Roger, you ready? Yeah, ready. Action. <laughs> Cut. Done. <laughs> One take. <laughs> no. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's very nice of you. Didn't even go to theater school for that. You know? Just, uh, just, it's in me, I guess. Um, let's see. Um, because I'm, I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, lived in the U.S. for a long time. Thank God. Um, I, I left the Netherlands as soon as I could. Like we have a lot, we have a lot of international people here, right? Like you guys all live here. Or is anyone just visiting? A show of hands. Anyone just visiting, or you all live here? The invasion is really here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I left as soon as I could, um, uh, really for one reason, for one reason only. After high school, I left because I was like, fuck this weather. The Dutch weather, are you fucking kidding me? It is schizophrenic. It is insane. Warm, or cold, rain, hot, ugh, snow. I have an impression of the Dutch climate. You guys want to see it? Okay, here we go. Impressions, they're always good. I'm an actor, remember. Okay, here we go. Oi! I'm gonna be cold today. Cold and windy. Yes, cold and windy. Cold and windy. Oh, so you're biking to work. You're biking to work, and you've got that wind just stuffing in your face. Yes. Yeah. Oh, warm for one hour. So you 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 you're biking to work, right? And um, and, and that winter coat that you thought you needed so desperately in the morning is now a mobile sauna unit. Oh oh. oh. Rain, bring in rain, bring in rain, turn it to snow now, turn it to snow! And not the beautiful, wide, drifty snow from the movies, no. Red, gray, wet, sloshy shit, right? That just sits on the floor and it freezes overnight. Good luck getting to work in the morning. Huh? Wind, bring back the wind. Oh, we let that go down. No, 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 bring back wind. Bring back so much fucking wind that walking becomes faster than biking. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Wait, 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 wait! Make it humid, make it humid, 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 more, 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 more humid. So now you're sweating your fucking ass off, and you make you want to kill yourself. Back down to rain. Back down, just just a drizzle. You thinking, oh, this is gonna be fine? It's not gonna be fine. Thunder, motherfucker. Thank you. Thunder motherfucker punchline because it just came to me. I was like, man, that's powerful. <laughs> uh, 
I, 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 I have a, a real interest in the Second World War, and I always wonder, like, when I learned about, uh, yeah, this is a segue, which we're just gonna go from Dutch weather to Second World War, it's fine. Uh, um, about, like, Germans fleeing to South America. You guys know how, how they did that? Like, a lot of the Nazis, right? They, they just packed up and they left for South America. I always wondered, why South America, you know? Because if you're gonna stand out somewhere as a Nazi, it's gonna be South America. But, I wondered if they were just like, hmm, I'll just slip away unnoticed. I'll just get right here. When at the end. Mi casa aquí. Si, senor. I'll just comb my hair to the other side. They'll never know. <laughs> but I, I wondered, because like, you know, sure, some of the, the lesser known Nazis, you know, there's so many of them. Uh, the lesser known Nazis, they could have gotten away with that. Hitler couldn't have gotten away with that, you know? Far too recognizable. That's the downside of being a tyrannical dictator, if you ask me. You're just far too recognizable. That's why I would never be one. <laughs> I like my privacy. Uh, but, you know, like if, I, I imagine if Hitler showed up at, at the, the Argentinian border, they're like, aren't you Hitler? Hmm? What, not? Hmm? No, no. And he's thinking, I shaved. What the <laughs> Say he gets through customs, right? He gets through a, a passport control. Obviously, someone in the street would be, hey, hey, don't I know you from Saudi? I, I know your, your face looks so familiar. What's what? He's like, mm, I don't know. And he's just trying to pretend a little. He's, I don't know. I have always lived Aki. <laughs> no, I swear, man, this is the Saudi. And after a while, he's like, his ego kind of plays up. It's like, I am Hitler after all. It's like, oh, that's right, Charlie Chaplin. Did you know, by the way, he was a huge Charlie Chaplin fan. That's why he got the mustache. So I guess we have Charlie Chaplin to thank for the Holocaust. Very dark. Charlie Chaplin was a hero. Doesn't matter, he died. Uh, <laughs> Took a little turn there. <laughs> Might leave that out next time. Um, all right, guys, uh, before I leave, you know, uh, uh, speaking of betrayal, I guess. Um, you ever, you, have you ever been betrayed in your life? Like real betrayal, right? Being a millennial, the worst betrayal that I feel I face on a day to day basis is. Seemingly ripe, but really unripe avocados. Yeah. Fuck them! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck them! And some Gen Xers are probably in here like, oh, avocado toast again. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. You should try it sometime. Thank you guys. My name is Roger Bach. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you. Oh, this is crazy, mother. <laughs>